Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at the applications of AI in electrical industry. We all know about the vast applications of AI in banking, fintech, cloud cybersecurity, and e-commerce. These are new age industries where the application of AI is rampant. How about the application of AI in core industries like electrical? That's what we are going to see. Let's start with load balancing and forecasting. This is similar to demand planning that exists in other industries. The key factor is analyzing the peaks and troughs. And in electrical industry, the peaks and troughs correspond to the different seasons. There will always be times when the load on electricity is higher and there are times when the load is lower. In addition to that, there could be long term and short term aspects of load. That is, that could be seasonality effect, seasonality effect and also the trend effect. Trend is more long term whereas seasonality is short term. Seasonality is what you see every year. All these things need to be factored in when someone plans for the entire power system planning, right? You need to balance this load only then the electrical industry can meet its customer expectations. If this is not taken care, that is if the load forecasting and balancing is not taken care, it will lead to outages, right? Which obviously results in dissatisfaction and loss of revenue, okay? Today, power system companies are buying power from multiple sources. So, this load balancing and forecasting becomes very, very essential. Previously, Excel used to be the go-to tool to understand the future demand so that the load can be forecasted and the consequent uh, balancing efforts taken. However, it, this aspect of load balancing and forecasting is best done using AI systems because AI systems can study the multiple factors, can evaluate the multiple drivers of your demand, okay, factor in the necessary uh, long term uh, trends and short term seasonality so that the load forecasting is as accurate as possible. You don't want a low forecast accuracy here. Let's say you expected. 100 units of power to be consumed, right? I'm just giving an example. What if 150 units are consumed? Or what if 50 units are only con consumed? So you're talking of plus 50% to minus 50%, right? The excess is not good. The shortfall is also not good, right? Because a lot of planning and procurement decisions are tied to this load balancing and forecasting. That's where AI systems can play a significant role in improving the forecast accuracy and in making this load balancing and forecasting, uh, load forecasting and balancing process a lot streamlined and a lot smoother. Okay. The next one involves fault diagnosis and automated distribution systems management. To understand distribution, let's look at this particular diagram in front of your screen. So there is power plant, right, which buys from different sources uh, which buys electricity from different sources the power plant itself could be producing electricity okay and then there is transformer after that you will have transmission the transformer is used again and then you have the distribution setup before the electricity finally reaches home so this is the end-to-end -end view of distribution in the electrical industry so fault could happen anywhere in this chain, right? How will you mon monitor faults? Will you monitor faults after faults have happened? Do you want to have it as a post facto uh, project? I'm sure electricity companies, power utility companies are doing preventive maintenance. That is once in a while, you know, you go and check these transmission lines. You go and check these transformers, you take the, uh, check the distribution lines and the associated activities. 
but are they sufficient in spite of this consumers experience outages right how can you reduce those outages significantly in spite of the best efforts you put in towards your preventive maintenance effort that is where the concept of predictive maintenance is very helpful right earlier i used the term preventive maintenance right here i am using the word predictive maintenance preventive maintenance is about periodical maintenance uh, that happen once in a while right or after uh, certain usage in predictive maintenance we manif we monitor the different parameters okay pertaining to transmission of electricity right from the power plant right you are monitoring all this in real time and any anomalies any extremities any outliers are flagged okay are flagged as triggers you know to the respective party so that necessary actions can be taken that is one opportunity the other opportunity is you track these parameters okay you track the parameters that are relevant for uh, different areas of the distribution okay you track them and proactively identify proactively predict future failures that could happen okay so predictive maintenance is about identifying future failures before they happen okay the more granular you go that is if you monitor parameters you know at the part level you can even say that a particular transformer is going to fail and in that a particular component is going to fail okay it depends entirely on how you are tracking how you are measuring right the more granular you go the more granular your identification of future failures can be okay so when you monitor the performance of your entire distribution through ai systems automation is possible right we are gradually increasing the level of automation in monitoring the distribution systems in managing the distribution systems as ai becomes more sophisticated okay as ai becomes more advanced this automation will only increase okay so the technology that is driving this is both machine learning as well as deep learning okay deep learning is about analyzing uh, images analyzing videos machine learning is about analyzing structured data that is data that you will store you know in typical excel file or traditional relational databases okay so deep learning is the more advanced form so it's so i can analyze not just outputs that come from these lines but i can even analyze the images and videos that can be transmitted from these places right so anomalies or outliers or extremities can be identified from the images and from the videos so that action can be taken so this kind of analysis okay this level of using images and videos to identify anomalies i am not aware of electrical companies using that but that's the potential but what where electrical companies are today that's in using machine learning in analyzing parameters okay factors that can be tracked from these places so the output is in the form of excel file you analyze and identify potential future failures so predictive maintenance is very much happening in electrical industry but it is not widespread okay so the next one that i want to talk about is automation and control of power systems right so fuzzy logic is used extensively in controlling and automating power systems fuzzy logic can be thought of as a many valued logic as compared to boolean logic which typically has only two values 0 and 1 the next one that i want to talk about is fraud detection and prevention fraud could happen in any one of these places right so 
tracking the parameters at these places alone won't be sufficient because fraudsters are becoming sophisticated. Let's understand what are the types of fraud that electrical industry faces. Starts with physical tampering of meter or if you are using smart meter, it can even be hacked, right? So this is the first type of fraud that happens in electrical industry. The next one is stealing electricity, right? You saw the distribution network. So the electricity could be stolen at any one of those places, right? The next one is anomalies in billing. There are billing errors that could be done deliberately. Okay, that's fraud, right? So that is that's also a case of tampering with the system, but here you're tampering with the meter, but here there is tampering happening with the billing system itself. If you ask such kind of problems exist, they very well exist. Okay, and then there is the case of unpaid bills. So you have different types of fraud, right? To manage a distribution system, the company spend huge amount of money. What if those money are lost in these fraud? That's where AI based systems can help. AI based fraud detection and prevention systems have proven its metal in many industries. Okay, and some utility companies, some electricity companies are beginning to use AI to prevent fraud. The beauty of AI is it can be used to even predict fraud. Even before fraud happens, AI systems can identify areas where fraud can happen. That's the power of AI for you, right? Whether it is fraud or it is an inefficiency, right? Leakages happen in any one or more of these areas all the time, okay? The point I'm coming to is, use AI to prevent leakages, use AI to predict leakages, right? That's a huge opportunity area for the electrical industry. Of course, the automation uh, of control systems, automated management you know, of distribution systems, load forecasting, these are all areas where AI is applied to a limited extent in electric electricity industry. As days go by, as AI becomes more advanced, I'm very confident that electrical industry will embrace AI more than what it does today. In this video, I did not cover any programming details. If you are interested in the programming side of machine learning, you can check out my Udemy course on machine learning. I have provided the link for the course in the comment section.